Welcome to the Silver and Show. I want to talk about the dynamic woman. And I'll say first that I do not have authority on the subject matter, but my guess, I would say, is one of the epitome of such a woman. She may disagree, but perception is in the eyes of the person who perceives. She's the eldest daughter to Clint and Desiree Jordan and is a singer and bass guitarist known from the widely renowned gospel group, The Jordan Family. She's most recently known for her presenting skills on the Gospel Breakfast Show and Sunday Morning with Celine on Premier Gospel, the UK's number one gospel radio station. She works as an executive assistant in her nine to five as well and recently, which came to my knowledge, was volunteering as a special constable for the Metropolitan Police. She's a Babylon. She was also recently took one of the lead roles for the first gospel musical written by comedian, actress and director Angela Marr, Take Me Back. Ladies and gentlemen, my guest, Celine Jordan. Celine, how are you? Okay, <laughs> Babylon. Babylon. Yeah, you know, Babylon system, isn't it? Gosh. You know, if you're in Jamaica, I said, she's a Babylon. Yes, man. but we're in England. We're in England. <laughs> yeah, but, but sometimes when they have these um, demonstrations, you, know, um, you know, African demonstrations, I say, Babylon! <laughs> you say, I'm Jamaican, you know what I mean? So therefore, that yeah. aspect of me comes out. Right, you, know, you are. You know, <laughs> you know. But, but aren't you Jamaican background? Uh, yeah, my mum, my mum's family are from Jamaica. Yes, yes. Uh, my dad's from India. Okay. So my dad was actually born in India. He's Anglo-Indian. So you do Bang Reggae? Born here. Pardon? Bang Reggae. Bang Reggae? That's which a new is, one of them. Which is Bangra, yes, Bangra reggae. and Reggae. I like it. Bang Reggae. I see what you did there. Now, ladies and gentlemen, that is me who coined that. So therefore... You heard it here first. Copyright. Copyright. Can we just... We can share it. It's all yours. Oh, you, you think, I'll Absolutely. take it. Absolutely. Oh, fantastic. Well, there we go. So listen, I want to go from the start, Celine. And from the start, I'm going to say, who is the Jordan family? Let's, let's take it, take it take back. Take it back. Take it way back. Mm. Back into time. Yeah. The Jordan family, well, okay, there's two <coughs> factors to the Jordan family. Yes. There's the Jordan family stage, and there's yes. the Jordan family, the actual family. Okay. So those who know us, claim to know us, think they know us, will remember dad, mum. Yes three boys and one girl on the stage. Mm -hmm. So there's two older brothers, me, and then a younger brother who was the Michael Jackson. Of the yes, I do, do remember, remember, yeah. I remember that. He years was ago. singing Many Rivers to Cross, yeah, yeah. but he was singing it like up in the, those high notes. Yeah, yeah, you can't yeah. get those notes anymore. Is he big but now? Is he big? Yeah. He's married with a daughter. Okay, you see, <laughs> because, because the last time I saw him was on the stage at Kensington Temple. Yeah, that's a long time ago. You know, so I'm still seeing him like that. Yeah, no, you can't. Oh, wow. Well, yeah, I mean, sometimes people I see him like that, but he's up there now. So, so. People do grow, isn't it? And he did indeed grow. So, yeah. And uh, so, yeah, mum, dad, two old brothers, me, a uh, younger brother. Yes. Um, so that's the Jordan family, yes. the, the group, if you like, mm -hmm. way back when. The Jordan family also has four other children okay but they were very young so if you you mean younger than michael jackson that's right okay yeah does so he mind being called michael jackson <laughs> oh, call him. He's saying michael jackson. <laughs> it's fine he knows. <laughs> so so you have clinton jordan yes. leon me eugene jordan yes and then you have tony as a girl yes ashton lewis and francesca oh wow so and then my mom and dad are desiree and clint so the youngest is what? what? So the youngest is 22. Oh, wow. In a, in a few weeks, actually. I oh, remember wow. that. Oh, yeah. wow. So the Jordan family, you got the band, and we all played our own instruments, and we all sing. Yes. And, did, and wrote an album and an EP, um, wrote our own songs, and did a cover of Jimmy Cliffs. Yes. Um, Many Rivers Across. Mm -hmm. And then you have the other four, Tony Ashton, Lewis, and Francesca. So in a nutshell, those are the Jordan family. So people who don't know, finally, they know that Celine Finally. Is I'm one of eight. Wow. I'm the oldest girl. Wow, wow, wow. Of eight children. That, that, you don't hear big families these days, though, do you? Well, I mean, we covered this earlier. My mum's Jamaican, my dad's yeah. Indian. So <laughs> within the Jamaican and the Indian families, they do have a number of children. Right. Bang reggae. Bang reggae. <laughs> I'm not sure about that. <laughs> yeah. bang, bang reggae gospel. Bang gospel reggae, anyhow, whatever. Something like that. We, create, look out for it. we, we create something like that, you know? <laughs> now, now, listen. Um, but, but are they, are you guys, I think recently yeah. there was a coming back. Okay, so it wasn't yeah. a comeback, it was actually supposed to be a, a goodbye because um, we haven't sung as a family in a long time. Yes. So we did... Uh, publicly. Pub publicly, yeah. Yes, yes. So yeah, we'll, we'll, you know, ding, 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 ding on the yeah. glass at the dinner table, yeah, yeah, we'll yeah, do yeah, all yeah. that. But publicly, um, we haven't sung in a while. Uh, because our family's just 
I mean, all the boys are now married and yes. they all have children. Yes. And I've moved out and I've, I've got a number of, not careers, but yeah. things in pots and pies. And, you know, mum and dad are getting older, so it's not as easy to get us all together to rehearse, mm. to get us all together to go to... I mean, you've got to think, when we were... Even though there was just the six of us on the stage, yes. there were still four with us. So they'd be up in the green room. Right, they'd, they'd right. They'd be, you know, with our grandmother, God mm. bless her. You know, we, we had to go in a convoy of like three or four cars. Right, right. So to do that <coughs> now with a family who's gone from 10 to, I think we're up to 22 now. Wow, wow. It's, you know... I know you have the dog as well. And my dog, my dog. <laughs> <laughs> my Simba, exactly. Can you imagine? Simba the Rottweiler ball master. Yeah, 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 yeah. There you go, yeah. So, it's, so Clinton has three children. Leon, his, his wife, um, just gave birth a few days ago. So okay. Leon, Leon has five children. Eugene Jordan has one. Uh, and then Ashton and Lewis have one. Yeah, I okay. think I follow Clint. Clinton. Clint, Clint is yeah. the dad. No, no, no. Clinton's our no, father. No, the son, the son. Clinton. Clinton, yes, yes Clinton. Do that. Yeah, Clinton. Yeah. Now, I, I, in my opening, I, I use the word, the epitome of a dynamic woman. Yeah. Yeah. Is she here? Is she yeah, yeah, I, I know you keep saying that. <laughs> and, uh, and I say it's a perfect example of a particular quality of a type of person. And uh, is that a fair description? And, and, and don't feel um, get it or whatever. This is a silver show. Feel free. <laughs> I don't, I, there's no way to answer that. I, mm. I've never been referred to as a dynamic woman. Yes. Um, I've been called Wonder Woman, which I quite like. Um, Amazonian, which I'm still trying to get used to. Those are all dynamic factors. Yeah, I know, but dynamic and Amazonian, you know, Amazonian, I used to think of a woman coming out of the forest with a spear. Okay, okay. Whereas people think Wonder Woman. <laughs> <laughs> Wonder, I, I, I Wonder Woman. Wonder Woman. <laughs> <laughs> Wonder Woman is a... We're going to make sure that... Oh, yeah. Oh, look at that picture. Oh, my days. Yes, that picture's <laughs> up there. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so I, I love it. I appreciate it. Thank yeah. you. No, I, 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 I tell you why. Because I personally, you know, we, we, we have guests who reach out to us, but I also reach out to guests sometimes mm -hmm. because I know the journey where I'm going with my show. Sure. And, and the key thing with the show, uh, Celine, is inspirational, motivational, educational, mm. entertaining. Love it. And the other factor also, Celine, is that it is not about trying to find persons on the red chair that is up there, everybody knows them. Mm. You don't know everybody knows you. But it, but it is <laughs> a lot of people. Yeah. Not everybody. Yeah. But, 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 but actually, it is to capture persons that I believe have some key qualities. Mm. But what actually spurred me on was when I saw you actually resigning or saying your last day with the police. Yes. And I said, damn, I didn't know she was the police I or know. something like that. <laughs> so, <laughs> So being a special constable, so a special, a special constable is yes. a volunteer police officer. Yes. So I wasn't out, you know, every day or on their shifts, their shift pattern yeah. that they do. I would go out typically on a Friday night, Saturday or Saturday mm. night. Mm. Um, and so with doing the radio on it, so I have my nine to five job, yes. right, in the city, Farringdon. And then on a, on a Tuesday morning and a Friday morning, I would do the gospel breakfast show with Inca on yes. Sunday Gospel. Yes. So I would be up at five o'clock, I'd walk my dog, mm. then I'd go to the radio from seven until nine. Sorry, you missed out. You say nine to five, you get up, you walk your dog, and you go and do your work or whatever like that. But something else you miss out. What did I miss out? You do something like a rant. <laughs> Is that always a rant? Yeah, yeah. You, you, you do it because one minute or this two minute thing. Every now and then I have a thought and then I'll just get my camera out while my dog is running. I'll yeah. just get my, my phone out and I'll film myself saying yeah. something. I don't know. All right, let me tell you about my one that's coming out. So you've got the exclusive. Okay? Yes, yes, please. I want to talk about eagles and turkeys, turkeys yes. and eagles. Eagles, I mean, they're fascinating creatures. And, and I read how an, an eagle actually rides a storm and how, how right. an eagle uses the storm. And they will fly through a storm yes. to get to the top, to get above the storm. And then they will use the storm to then soar. To guide, to glide, to go, yeah. Yeah, to then soar. Turkeys are on the ground clucking corn, yeah. as far as I'm concerned. Yes. If you're an eagle, do your eagle business. Yes. Stop worrying about what the turkeys are doing. Yes, yes. The turkeys are down on the ground, you're up in the sky. Yeah. Crack on. So that's basically, in a nutshell, what I will say while my dog is running after the ball. Yes. And I'll be with my phone going, I want to talk about turkeys and eagles. Yes, yes. And just, that's just a little thought. So, so for somebody to go out and get so, with so, their day. So therefore, it's a bit like my series, which I would say, don't go with the floor, where I just 
sitting there, and how it came about was just sitting there waiting for a guest or so, whatever. Yeah. And I just started talking something, and my guys started filming, and I said, oh, that's cool. And remember, don't go with the flow, because I don't like to go with the flow. Yeah, why you would know? you go with the flow? Exactly. And that's where everyone's going. Yeah, so definitely, I, I will make sure that before you leave today, we're going to make sure we get you to do a, yes. a, a one-minute special about don't go with the flow, don't exclusive the for the silver. Exclusive. Sure. Exclusive. Yes. You know? but, but I want to still delve a bit more into the dynamic factor, because how the world is now, um, mm. you know, the, the women, uh, and I use the fact of women, this is like the Silburn show with the dynamic woman, if anything. It is, is, do you find that uh, women and well, uh, the world has been changed now with, with the whole thing like the uh, allegations against women? Do you think that women are becoming stronger or is it just that you, women have always been, but you're just of a particular breed? Is it because of your brothers I'm or something? I'm definitely of a particular breed. Right. Yes. So it's dynamic. My there. strength is a different, yeah. A different <laughs> <laughs> Finally. I knew it. Okay, yeah. My strength is a very different strength to um, mine and my sister's. Yes. It's very different to um, your average woman. Yes. Those who are going with the flow. Yes. We're very different because we, my sisters, Tony and Francesca and myself, are very blessed in particular, in this, particularly in this day and age, to have our parents yes. still married. Yes. And I really don't like that word still. Are your parents still together? Mm. Are you still single? Mm. I don't like that at mm. all. But in this day and age, I have to use it. They yeah. are still yes. married. We have five brothers, mm -hmm. and all five of our, of our brothers are very, very strong men. Yes. And they're not just strong men, they're strong, God-fearing yes. Yes. men, right? So the tree that we're from mm -hmm. is, is a very strong, a very firmly rooted, it's very firmly rooted yes. and grounded, right? So we cannot fall for certain things. So if a guy was to come up and come to me and say, you know, how about, you know, I take you on the London, well, I can take myself. And actually yeah. I've been twice with my you know, yeah. my sisters or whatever. I've seen so a couple of rant on those particular topics. Have you? So, yeah. I haven't done them yet. Well, no, I've seen, a, I saw a rant on something about some guy coming on and saying certain things and blah, blah. Oh, yeah, that guy. He said, <laughs> but he, he said, do you have any children? And I said, no. Yeah. And he said, you know what I thought when I saw you? I said, what? He goes, but it was the way he did it. Yeah, yeah, he yeah. He went, I'll give her a baby. It was just the, <laughs> oh, all the blood just went, to, like, who told you I want any babies? Yeah. Why would I want any from you? Yeah. And why does the world think that every <laughs> woman has to have a child? Yes. So, so I don't particularly want children. This and you, and you already have them. your apartment. <laughs> I have my apartment, my car, my dog. I have everything I need, but that's not even why. It's yeah. just, the world yeah. is just such an awful place. And yes. Sometimes I think like, why am I still here? Yes. Right? Um, if, you know, my grandmother passed 10 years ago. Mm. And, and, I, and I always think if she had the chance to stay here, we'd be going, you're going home to glory. Yeah. So, you know, so my sights are on the heavenlies, yes. on glory. So yes. I probably shouldn't say it, but when I go, I'm gone, that's it. Yeah. And, and, you know, God bless that day. Yeah. The thought of having my offspring still here, and wow. the world is just getting worse. It's, 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 so it's, it's interesting you say that because uh, I think I put something up the other day on Facebook saying every other day I'm becoming ever so convinced that one has got to be very firm and focused on their belief, mm -hmm. on their integrity and their foundation and don't just, because guess what, as you rightly say, everything is just PC, political correct. It's a mess, we're in a mess, it's yeah. just such a mess, you've got people, you've got people running their van into people on a bridge for just no reason at all, yeah. you know, you've got bombs going off in trains. Mm. It's, it's too much. It's too much for me. And then to be guarding and protecting a child, don't get me wrong, I know that people have said this before, they don't want any children, and then they meet somebody and, ah, you uh, know, great. Yes. However, that's not, where I, that's not where I am. But could I challenge you on this point? Please do, I love yeah. being challenged. <laughs> because uh, you're on a different plane. Right? I'm not going with the flow. You're not going with the flow. And I was wanting you to come and sing this song with me because yeah. I, I saw you singing it the other day, Tremaine Hawkins, Going Up Yonder. And yeah. I love that song when I became born again. And uh, okay. it's, a, it's a beautiful song. And uh, I think lots of people do it at their funerals as well, but it's a very beautiful song. We're going up yonder. Yeah. And then, uh, so, you know, it's about if you want to know where I'm going, mm. I'm going up yonder. Yeah. And you did it recently. And then I, 
I, it just came back to me and I started to play it. And then another Liam Stainton, mm -hmm. a lady also sang it in a sort of Helen Bayer style, jazz it in. And if you're on that plane, and if you see society today mm -hmm. with the young people, young black boys, young black girls, and it's like things are all going crazy. Yeah. Don't you think that you have a duty to be a part of that change in your life? Because it's like eloping from the call of God. So, yeah. so how do you think I should, or one should be a part of that change? Because my bringing children into this world to be... Well, not even bringing children. Not then even what? Do you mean challenging children? No, yeah, like the present... Uh, Absolutely. That's one of the reasons why I remained a police officer. Yes. Four and a half years I was a police officer. Yes. And I would go out and I would talk to these kids and go, guys, it doesn't have to be that way. Yeah. I was sat in a, in a van with a, with a young man, a young black boy in handcuffs. And he said to me, you're on the wrong side. What are you doing? And I said, yeah. my man, you're in handcuffs. You, it's not easy to be arrested. Yes. You have to go through a certain, process. Yeah. Yeah. You can't. I can't just go up to a person and arrest them because then when I get to the custody suite, the custody sergeant is going to say, "Take the cuffs off and let him go," mm. because there's a process. But if you if you are arrested and you are taken to the custody suite and you are put in a cell, it's because you have done something, mm -hmm. and you've done something wrong. So when I go out and I talk to these kids and I say, "Guys, you don't need to do that," and it's not even I don't do that just in uniform either. Yes. When you see a child in the street, and adults do this too, by the way. Yeah. I just pulled a guy up, like, what are you doing? That's why you're late. Unwrapping. Was I late? <laughs> I was kidding. <laughs> I'm sure my at 3 no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> this guy unwrapped mm. something and just threw his litter like it was nothing. Yeah. Right? And I see these kids in the, in the um, especially when there's a binge just there. They're in the park when yeah. I'm walking my dog, and they just go like this. And I go, hey! And like, Is that with a commanding police voice or just. This is with my voice. Just you, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Which may well be a commanding police. Yeah, person. yeah. You drop something. Oh, uh, uh, you drop something. Yeah. yeah. The bin is right there. You mm -hmm. know, just in case you didn't see it, the bin is right there. Yeah. And I think society at the moment, we are afraid to challenge kids yes, in, in yes. case they pull a knife out or in case they, you know, yes. get their friends or whatever. But you know what? We just can't, we can't let, and not just kids, adults, adults. as well. We can't let people get away with these right. things. And I think it's, it's, what is that saying? It takes a village to raise a child. It takes a village, yeah. We've all got to get together. Yeah. And we've all just got to be like, right, we need to take responsibility. And then, yeah. you know when the riots happened? Yeah. The um, South London riots. Is, yeah. Is that yeah. the one after, happened after the guy in Tottenham and then it ricocheted down in South London yes. as well? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. So I was standing on my balcony watching the young'uns downstairs mm. congregate. Mm. And you've got the little gangs. And they, you know, most of the time they're not really doing much. But mm. they... They're, they're just there, but then when it was the opportunity for them to congregate and get together and, and then cause this big scene, you know, I was watching it like, guys, man, come on, you know, they're taking pictures by my car. Right? Yeah. And then later, the next day, we had a meeting in like the, one of the little halls, and these people said, why didn't, why didn't the MPs tell us this was happening? Why mm. didn't the police warn us that this mm. was going to happen? And I had to stand up and say, listen, every time you've let a child throw a can on the floor, Every time you've let a kid knock a bin over, yeah. you've let this happen. Right. So by not challenging by not those challenge basic things there. Basic. So therefore, it is the basic being unchallenged, ricochet or propel into what we're having today with the rise of crime, black and black boys and killing one another. I think that's one of the factors. That's one of the What do you think? Let's, let's, since we're on that point, because the news today was, was talking about the, the police um, Commissioner, your former boss, Chrissida Dick, was saying that uh, a lot of black boys need to be locked up. She didn't really say black boys. She's, it was based on a study to say that lots of knife crimes come from mm -hmm. and black boys, mm -hmm. and said that they need to be more locked up. Mm -hmm. Do you think that's one of the them being answer? locked up? Yeah, not really. No. He, come on, the guy stabbed someone. The guy punched someone. The guy stabbed someone whereby he knows where not to um, kill a person, murder someone. Okay, Honorable if we're talking about stabbings and murders, then yeah, you need yeah. to be taken out of society. Yeah, but yeah. you need to be rehabilitated. Yeah. And, you, and I think we need to get to the <clears throat> basics of, or the understanding of why did that happen? What's, something yeah. has gone wrong somewhere. You, a child just doesn't go into the kitchen, take a knife, go out and just go yeah. like that, unless something has gone Click. wrong. Yeah. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to take a quick break. I'm going to come back on that particular point with um, Celine Jordan because um, it's taking a different turn. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, but it's very interesting and I want to zero into that. Thank you. And then one day I remember getting really frustrated because 
everybody had their thing, but I didn't have mine. Right, right. And I just didn't know what I wanted to do. And my problem was that I could do so much. Much, yeah. Yeah. So to say I'm just going to do one thing frustrated me. Hi, I'm Celine C. Jordan, and I was just chatting with Silborn on The Silborn Show. Hey, why don't you go to YouTube and subscribe? You will not be disappointed. In fact, go on all the social media outlets. Subscribe. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for joining us on The Silborn Show. And uh, of course, what I'd like you to do is to like the videos, share the videos, and subscribe to the channel. Let people know about it. But the important thing is also to comment. Let us get your comments, let us get your views, so we can understand how to even please you better, ladies and gentlemen. So, as I said, share, like, subscribe. Ah, thank you. I saw you there. You subscribed and you shared. Thank you so much. See you next time. So, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Silver and Show. And I want to tell you that I've got to turn off this because if I don't, it's going to come in and James is going to give me that eye. Uh, let me just check my phone. <laughs>